Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today in our grade 11 Euclidean geometry, we're looking at a theorem 5 that says the subtended angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. Okay, so to understand this theorem, we have to start with the statement. Okay, we have to start with the statement now the statement of this theorem says if the angles subtended by a chord of the circle are on the same side of the chord then the angles are equal okay let me write it if the angles subtended by if the angles subtended by a chord of the circle okay of the circle are uh, on the same side of the chord are uh, on the same side of the chord then the angles are equal then the angles are equal then the angles are equal okay so I want you to consider here let's say we're considering the arc AB or diameter AB as you can see diameter AB subtends one angle at the circumference which is angle q it is also subtending another angle at the circumference which is angle p so according to this theorem it says that subtended angles in the same segment of the circle are equal so if we're looking at the diameter a b this part will be um a segment or this other part will also be a the top part is a segment rara, this part here is a segment right and obviously this part will be the opposite side of the segment but I think we can still call it a segment but in our introduction we had said this cut this part that we are cutting out will be our segment okay all right okay so now this uh, theorem says these two angles angle Q is equal to angle P so we are now going to prove that indeed angle P is equal to angle Q okay we are going to do that so to help us do that we can use um, the fact that angle O rather this arc also subtends angle at the center which is angle AOB can you guys see that so let me show it to you so let me just draw a circle um, let me just draw a circle to show you what I mean okay so let me extend the circle and then okay. ah, nah. uh, let me I messed it up okay so I just want to explain this so I'm just gonna copy and paste okay so let me close this I'll just copy and paste so I want you to okay thank you now if this is center of the circle and this is also center let's say we have um, arc AB subtent this angle here and it also subtends angle Q can you see that again okay um, so it subtends um, this one it's not really it's far so let's say this is the center O so arc AB subtends angle at the center and it also subtends angle P on the circumference can you see that let's go back can you see what I'm trying to show you now okay 
yes i'm not drawing it exactly as this but it's something like this can you guys see it so basically this is what we are doing so before i continue um i should tell you that when you use this theorem you should say the reason when you use this theorem the reason will be angles in same segment okay you will say it is angles in same segment so even if you say sag it's okay okay so okay now let's prove if indeed angle APB is equal to angle AQB now check this out our proof our proof you will agree with me that look at this you will agree with me that angle AOB is two times angle AQB what's the reason angle at center equals two times angle at circumference all right so you see now we're using theorem 3 Again, now look at this diagram here. This diagram here, again, we're saying angle AOB is equal to two times angle A, your know, angle AB, angle APB. What's the reason? Again, it is angle at center is equal to two times angle at circumference. Right, it is equal to two times angle at circumference. Therefore, we can say, as you can see, we have said that uh, angle AOB is equal to two A, two angle AQB, and again, it is also equal to two angle APB. So we can therefore say, okay, wherever we see AOB, we see two A, two angle APB. So I will say this is basically equal to two angle A P B is equal to two angle A Q B. Remember, this is basic algebra. Okay. Now what we can do, we can divide by two throughout. When you divide by two throughout, what do we get? We get that angle A P B is equal to angle A. QB. So we have proved the theorem, right? We have proved the theorem. And this is it, guys. So see you next time. And bye-bye.